Hey everybody, this is Ultimate Hoops Chicago. I'm here at Schaumburg today for pickup ball. I got the legend here, the new history maker, Mike Deduno, Mr. 118. Mike, can you please walk me through what that was like the other night? Uh, it, was, it was a crazy feeling, you know. It was, it was one of those things where, um, you know, I hit a couple of shots early and my teammates really tried to get me involved and, um, you know, I got into a groove and they just kept going in. So I heard that somebody gave you a hard shot and that really kind of got under your skin there? Yeah, that's that's pretty much what set it off. Uh, I got fouled pretty hard. I was getting double teamed already pretty much the whole first half. So, um, you know, once he hit me, I had to turn it up a little bit and they just kept going in. Have you ever had a burner like that? Uh, not 118. Like, uh, if I had, I've had a few good games in college and out here, but um, duh, that was that was different. That was different. Is there, uh, like, what about this one foot thing? Is that like something you've been doing your whole life? It's something, I started working on it like my second or third year of college. I never really did it in games, but uh, you know, it's, it's felt more natural as of late. And uh, you know, I shoot it up here all the time. Everybody knows when I shoot it, uh, it's a natural shot for me. So it's just something that I've been working on. Did it drive coaches crazy? A little bit. I mean, I never really did it in games or, co uh, or, or serious situations in practice like that because it, it just wasn't, I didn't develop it enough yet. But uh, I, I pulled it a few times my senior year and they went in, so my coach didn't say anything. Okay. Um, there's been a lot of uh, buzz going around this morning and yeah, ever yeah. since the video went up and stuff. Uh, have, you been, have you been hearing anything about this? Anything? Uh, just a lot of people arguing on Facebook and Twitter and a lot of. Uh, a, couple of haters and a lot of guys up here got my back but it's all good fun you know I just uh, wanted to put on a good show for everybody up here is there anything like you can say to those people that say it's not possible nobody's playing defense all this well what what do you what kind of what can you do to credit it what uh, I mean to, to, to credit it I think when you watch the video you can see I wasn't shooting um, low you know high percentage shots you know I was shooting one-legged shots you know 30 40 50 even one a couple of them were 50 feet out so um, you know, to my credit, I was taking tough shots at a high rate, but but also, you know, there's a lot of things that go into it. You know, the other team put up a lot of shots, so that gave us a, a chance to get a lot of possessions. And uh, so, you know, you can look at it from a lot of different a lot of different angles. But um, you know, I, the reason why I did it was a lot of a lot of guys think they can um, score 118 or you know 120 or you know 80, 90 points, but you got to shoot it at a high rate. So that was kind of I wanted to do it to prove that you got to hit a lot of tough shots at a high percentage to, to really score or put a high number up. You shot, what, it was like 52% or over 50% yeah, from the field, yeah. almost 50% from the three. Yeah. Um, what, what was your, were you dead tired after this game? I was actually tired going into the game. Uh, I, I think I only had like 16 points with like eight minutes to go in the first. But, um, you know, it was just one thing. I, like I said before, I told Jarvis, uh, I lifted earlier that day, so my, my rhythm was kind of off. So it felt more natural going off one leg, as crazy as that sounds. But, um, you know, it was just one of those things where you hit a couple, you see if, see if you go in, and the rest just kind of start dropping. Do you think this record will ever be broken? I'm sure it will. I'm sure everybody will see it, and, a lot, you know, a lot of guys... Uh, a lot of guys will start hunting for it, but uh, you know it is what it is. If somebody breaks it, they break it. Do you think it will be you? Do you think you'll try? Uh, it, it depends on what the situation is. If it calls for it, I will. But uh, you know the team that we have over here at Schaumburg, we haven't done well in the last three or four weeks. So um, you know I, we had a couple of frustrating outings. So I really just wanted to win. That was the most important thing. But uh, you know after I got to about 80 points, everybody started telling me to go to go for 100. So I figured why not. Where do you think it ranks up there with uh, Wilt's performance? Obviously, it was at the NBA level. Yeah, yeah. He's a big guy. <laughs> uh, if you look at it in terms of what the kinds of shots that were taken, it's close, but it's nowhere near what Wilt did, obviously. Okay. All right, man. Well, congrats on the huge accomplishment. Thank You're in history here at Ultimate Hoops. So uh, the rest of the nation, uh, I'm sure they'll be giving their take on this from here on out. So, All right, thanks, Mike. Hey, Ultima Hoops, we're back here again with uh, Bobby Rhodes. Uh, this is the official stat keeper for the 118-point game. Uh, Bobby, how accurate do you think your stats were? My stats were very accurate. Um, I counted everything out. I even let him know he was pacing. I couldn't believe the pace he was at. It actually took me two lines to keep his shots. So we actually have the stat sheet saved for those who want to see it. We'll have to get a picture of that. What? Uh, 
What can you do, say, to give more credit to his performance? There's been a lot of people, a lot of buzz going around about 118, Ultimate Hoops League, blah, blah, blah. I don't care where you play ball at. We all as basketball players, I've played, everyone's played with someone at D1 level, college level. I haven't forced to play with some NBA players. I've not seen anyone score 100 points ever. So I don't care where you play at as an athlete, so I want you to respect someone scoring 100 points. And the fact that you say he shot, to show you that I kept the stats, I know exactly what he shot. He was 43 or 81, 58 or 27 from the three point line. That's 47%. Shooting an NBA three. So, yes, he shot shots, but he also made shots. And most people I want to see shoot that many shots, what will your field goal percentage be? It's different if he did it with all layups. He did it all off jump shots, one foot jump shots, half court jump shots, three fourth jump shots, one foot. He just did it and he was going at 60%. It's probably one of the most impressive games I've ever seen. Uh, was the 118 side by Wilt, was that your idea, the picture? Well, it's a picture we all thought about it because we all thought about who else to score 100 points. Only person I really know is Wilt. I know, like, you know, Lisa Lasley did it and Dewan Wagner. I think there was a kid last year or something. Yeah, something the other kid in the D1, we couldn't figure out his name or find a picture of them actually with a 100-point picture. Wilt was the other one. You know, it's not too many times you see someone score 100. Wilt was the first person to document it, to do it, and I'm pretty sure Mike's going to be the last person. I can get it documented. I can physically see do it, so that's why we did it. What does it mean for somebody of like his position, his size, to put up that many points compared to Wilt, where he was a seven foot one, freaking nature, nobody could guard him by the hoop? You know, Wilt did an NBA, so it's a little different, you know. And uh, Wilt also did with a lot of free throws. That was a big thing that I was impressed about. Mike game was that Mike shot seven free throws. So a lot of people can say that. You know, I think Wilt almost shot like 40 or 50 free throws that game. Mike did a lot of everything off the jumper, which is unbelievable. And the plays he made were like, it was crazy. He beat the double team, he beat single coverage. And people was like, yeah, he shot a lot of open shots, but people didn't see half of the shots he was shooting from beyond 30 feet. So that's still a contested shot in my books if you're shooting that far. You know, it was just very impressive to see. And the whole gym went crazy over it. What about the fact that it was a running clock? What is that? We got 44 minutes, running clock. The ball stops every time there's a timeout or last two minutes for the last minute of the first half. Uh, what, is, what does that mean? I think it comes down to about 13 seconds. Yeah, and that's shot. the thing I think a lot of people forget. He's playing a running clock, 44 minutes. That's not a lot of minutes to get, you know, 118 points. And even to get 81 shots, that's a lot of conditioning to himself. Personally, I don't think I can get those shots up and keep shooting. You know, you got to think about it. Mike was here earlier today. I actually shot with him earlier today. He worked out a full, complete workout. And then came in the game and did that in the run o'clock. It's very impressive. And a lot of people don't know he actually lost to that team the week before. So it wasn't like, you know, granted, you know what I'm saying, yes, it may not be one of the most talented teams in the world, but like I could find if you any player out there, you can come play on my team. I would give you 81 shots, and I would recommend you should have to take 58 threes, hit 27 of them, and shoot 53%. You can come and play on my team. I am willing to pass you. The I think that would take a lot more than 44 minutes to accomplish. And that's my point. That's why, I, like I said, I don't think Mike himself would ever do that again. You know, it was just, he was on that night. And some nights you have it, some nights you don't. And he just had it that night. And that's the point. I know a lot of people are discredited and believing it's not real. I've seen him do it again. If you feel that you can do a better defensive job, we play at Schomburg Lifetime, you come guard Mike DeNuno. There it is, Ultimate Hoops. That's the credit to Mike DeNuno's 118 points. Bobby Rhodes, the official stat keeper.